thing I'm most proud of is my my 40 years of, of conducting the youth orchestra because I've had thousands of kids and they all speak so kindly and with fond remembrance of their time in the youth orchestras. My passion was teaching, teaching and showing people my love for what I do and trying to impart that on other people. I quickly found that that was where I was needed. When I started conducting the youth orchestra, that immediately took me over and became one of my principal things to do. When I started, there was one orchestra. My second year, there were two orchestras. And bit by bit, they both grew into wonderful groups. It was something that I realized I loved doing. We were playing a lot and playing with the symphony as a pianist and teaching piano, keeping both sides open. Music is really a combination of emotion, color, light, sound, silence, intellectual grasping, seeing the whole picture. All of those things come together in great works of art because I don't consider music an entertainment. It's not entertaining, it's enriching. It's something that enriches you, that gives you a different way of looking at the world. It adds dimension to the world. We are here for a short time and yet there's all this beauty. And the great composers absorbed that and found a way to exalt that and to demonstrate that and to put that forward through sound. That sound then becomes a language independent of word and it speaks to us just as profoundly. It's never rote, it's never something that's put down for you and you copy. And that's the difference between certain kinds of music making and really personal intimate music making. And that's one of the things I try to put across to the kids, the young people that I mentor in the youth orchestra. I try to help them develop their own individuality and their own excellence. What a great way to spend a life. I'm so lucky, I really am. <laughs>